As we head into the fall, the Maryland housing market is heating up with home prices on the rise and home affordability is still at a historical low. It's a pivotal time for buyers and sellers alike. And we have the election next week with buyers waiting for their time to move. And if we haven't met, hi, my name is Tanika. I'm a social broker with Keller Williams Realty Center. I sell homes here in Maryland. If you're looking for the latest market updates on Maryland uh, home tours, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to dive into the latest data from our Bright MLS and Merlin Realtors to give you a snapshot of what's happening in the four counties I primarily serve as the summer has wrapped up. Don't feel like it outside because it's still warm, but we are heading into the fall season. So whether you're a homeowner, a potential buyer, or just someone curious about the market, stick around because the numbers I will provide will give you some good insight for the housing market here in Maryland. Now let's review the average housing stats for Maryland in 2024 as it compared to 2023. So currently units or homes sold is down by 6.3%. And this is huge because units sold were up through the summer. This means that less homes sold towards the end of the summer compared to the same time last year. However, average prices are up 4.5% and the medium home price is up 4.1%. Pendings are slightly up and the month's worth of inventory is about the same that it was in 2023. It's about two months worth. Now, let's explore the four counties I primarily service. We got Anne Arundel County, Howard County, Montgomery County, and Prince George's County. So let's take a look at Anne Arundel County. Now in Anne Arundel County, their current list to price sold ratio is 101, which means sellers are getting a little bit over their asking prices here. The medium days on the market is 10 and the medium home sold price is 485,000. The month's worth of inventory is 1.37, which is 3.8 more than it was the same time last month and a little bit lower than it was the same time this last year. Let's take a look at Howard County. Howard County currently has a list to sold price ratio of 102.5, which means sellers are getting about two and a half percent more than their asking price here. The medium days on the market is nine and the medium home price is 610,000. Months worth of inventory is 1.1, which is 13% more than last month and 20% more than the same time, the same time last year. Let's check out Montgomery County. Currently in Montgomery County have a list of sold price ratio of 100.8, which means sellers are getting about their asking price here. The medium days on the market is 12. The medium home price is 592,500. Months worth of inventory is 1.9%, which is 18% more than it was last month and 30% more than it was the same time last year. And lastly, let's take a look at Prince George's County. So currently in Prince George's County has a list of sold price ratio 100.7, which means sellers are also getting about their asking price. The medium days on the market is 19 and the medium home sold price is 443,950. Months worth of inventory is 1.68, which is 1% more than it was last month and about the same as it was the same time last year. Overall, we're still in a strong seller's market with low inventory and interest rates have come down slightly, but they are going back up. As we continue into the fall, we should see the housing market become a little bit more competitive again due to the interest rates becoming a little lower. How do you feel about this housing market? Let me know in the comments. And if you are interested in buying or selling a home in the Merlin area, I invite you to schedule a quick time to chat with me to see how I can assist. See the link in the description below to schedule a time to chat with me. And until my next video, take care and thanks for watching.